We are the Baboon Show. Make sure to stay tuned. Yay! 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 Welcome, friends. First of all, thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Uh, it's not your first time, right? No. No, we've been in France before. That's correct. Hellfest? Yes, Hellfest. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. It was amazing. And also, we did a tour in France in 2009. We think it was in 2009. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But you can tell more about. I don't remember the name of the. Uh, the, 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 the tour we did was a, like a, a touring tour, I have to say, that was called uh, uh, Le Femme Sans Melon. So we was traveling from different cities and it was all with um, uh, bands with at least one female in, in, in yeah. the bands. And when we were in Paris, we played La Maroquinerie. Mar 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 La Maroquinerie. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, is it hard to to tour today? To to uh, I saw that you, you have some uh, some venues right here with uh, the exploited, but then you're going to move another. Yeah. It's, is it hard to schedule a tour today? No, because we don't do it. It's our booker. <laughs> So it's really easy, actually. We just tag along for yeah. the ride. Yeah, we're just happy to to go and play the shows. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've heard that the, the band is uh, 20 years old today or this year? Yeah, yeah or next year. We sort 23, of 24, so, right? Yeah, 24. Yeah, we did our first show in May 2004, so we can somehow count it from that. We started playing our first notes in 2003. But we were a band 2004, okay. so next yeah. year. Because I, I guess also in 2003 there was only three of us also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Wikipedia is wrong, right? <laughs> 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 Not really, but yeah, okay. Um, to yeah, there is a song uh, called uh, "What's the Reason to Go On" on this new on this new album. Uh, so what's the reason to go on for you guys? It's fun to play. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's. I can't imagine doing anything else. It's not right now, anyway. It's so fun what we do, and all the people you meet on tour, and all the friends you make, and all the happy faces. And yeah, it's just a great feeling to feel that you connect with people in a way that you wouldn't do otherwise. Yeah, I mean we love it, and I mean you, as Nicholas said, you get a special connection with your audience, and I guess that is for us somewhat the reason to go on. Because I mean, uh, to be in a studio and record music, that's fun, but it's not. You don't get the same uh, adrenaline or euphoria, or how to say. It's like it's like a it's like a kick. Like people get when they maybe are climbing or I don't know parachuting or whatever you you can compare it to that I guess so I guess it's because we're adrenaline junkies yeah <laughs> yeah and we love to meet our crowd and our audience I mean, the adrenaline is on stage right it, it's not only on stage it's I think it's like an exchange between us and our crowd so. Yeah. What about the exchanges between the fourth of you and how do you change, how do you like to, are you like kind of a old school band that you still rehearse together yeah. Yeah, yeah. in a small place, sweaty and uh, you know? Absolutely, every, yes, we do. Every, every Monday, yes, every <laughs> Monday, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> every Monday seven o'clock, yeah. Really? yeah, yeah. Could we be there, right? Yeah. Are, are we invited? Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Why not? If invited. you're in Stockholm, yeah, yeah. just come along. Yeah. yeah. Why not? <laughs> Can I come with beers? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, we're happy to have you. Yeah. I mean, I think rehearsing is also a way to like get together and you know just talk shit. What's happening? Or not talk shit, but you know what's happening in your life. What's your mood? What's going on at home? Yeah, write new and songs. Write new songs. Yeah. 
you, you get to know each other better and get more glued together when you hang out in that kind of environment, I think. Yeah. Could you imagine, like in the metal scene, many bands today, they, are, they don't rehearse, they just see you maybe one day before the tour, and yeah. just rehearsing on their side and uh, so it's kind of a weird maybe way to, to rehearse and to write music but maybe it's in the punk rock scene you know it's like kind of uh, old school you know and it depends on what they want to do like if they want to do a new show maybe they need more time to rehearse but like if they played a long time they only need one rehearsal and then they can go on a tour but, like, for us, it's a lot of fun to meet up and, and rehearse. That's why we do it. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, we don't, we don't rehearse because we need to practice the songs. <laughs> we, we, we rehearse to like, yeah, you know, we get ideas of uh, fun and new things to do, how to develop the shows, uh, yeah, and stuff around maybe the show that we can improve it's not like we need to practice on this particular song because the last time we played it we didn't do it as good as we usually do i mean that's not why we rehearse really no, no. and of course sometimes when you're touring <coughs> a lot maybe maybe then you skip a monday here and there but <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> otherwise every monday but I, I really think that if you don't rehearse, then you get more like solitary from each other. Yeah. Uh, sure. I think if you do rehearse and see each other on a regular basis outside of the touring, you get more glued together as a band. And like it's, I mean, it's your second family, so you want to hang out. Yeah, the whole group feeling. Um, God bless you all. Uh, mm -hmm. Was released uh, early this year. Yeah. Was the feedback in general very very good very good yeah, yeah. absolutely mm -hmm. many people like it and uh, yeah I, I didn't hear much bad about it I didn't hear anyone saying they don't like it no. but I mean then again maybe not to your <laughs> face <laughs> I'm gonna say, I mean, if you don't like something, why would you say that? I mean, that's rude. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean if I don't like your hat, I don't say, I don't like your hat. I well, just. You could. Like, <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Yeah. What did you want to try or improve in, in studio for, for the recording of this album? For this album? Yeah. I think we pretty much kept on the same track that we did with the last two or three albums, almost. Uh, we always change a little bit, of course, because that's natural that you develop. <coughs> and, uh, but I think the big difference from this is that we, we are singing about different themes than before. Not, not all different, but we have some new themes uh, on this album. And that we didn't really talk about before. Yeah, I would also say that the recordings of God Bless You All is have been was very very different to the other recordings because also we had like a pandemic in the middle of it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, so the recording process and the writing process was very like split up somehow. Um, during the pandemic, we could not see each other and rehearse and. Uh, you know <coughs> get together so uh, I wouldn't say I mean we didn't struggle with the re recording but it was very different than from the other recordings yeah. because then we just like you know rehearse the songs get into the studio and four days later it's a wrap and now it was yeah it was very divided two years yeah, yeah. Or, and we felt like we want to uh, release something so we took uh, some songs that was meant to be on the album and they released an EP and yeah. uh, never say goodnight so um, yeah, yeah. So then we had to go back to the studio and record some more songs and yeah, yeah. and I mean also I think we have uh, much more leftovers or how to say yeah. from this album than from the previous ones because in the end we needed to put it I mean all these different sessions or how to say together to, to 
album that works as a as whole mm -hmm. because we release mm -hmm. albums, we don't only release songs. So, and yeah, um, we think like A and B side, yeah. like old school, like so, that, what fits together. Yeah, yeah the whole dynamic. Um, yeah. yeah, it's compact to, to, to be homogenic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I think, yeah, yeah, at least for me, it felt much different this process than it had been in the past. Mm. Yeah, and I think we counted that <coughs> the whole album uh, consists of three different studio sessions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and usually we go into the studio like uh, four or five days and just do it. Yeah. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's that. That's the issue. But the results, but pretty well, yeah. very very good. Why did you choose to to work in three different studios? I think it no, yeah, it not like three different studios, like no, three different sessions. Like, like set, set yeah. yeah, okay. So because we recorded most of it before the pandemic, because yeah. it was supposed to be released, like I don't know, I don't remember now, but uh, let's say two months after the pandemic breakout, uh, and then we decided we cannot release it while the pandemic is there. And uh, then we're just like, okay, let's sit and see how long it takes. But then it took quite a bit. So then we released some songs and we recorded again. And then we did the same time, the same thing like again. So it was um, a, a much longer process. So that's why it was three recording sessions yeah. during. Did like you change anything or most of the bands, uh, they, they re-record uh, the, the albums or the they improve some stuff and uh, most of the uh, albums just after the pandemic were very good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't think, think we changed, <laughs> we didn't change much in the songs. We let them be pretty much uh, how they were in structure. Uh, yeah, uh, no, we didn't change much. But it was we just added new songs. We added and new then songs. We had to like take yeah. some songs out because it yes. was like now the album won't be dynamic if we keep it as this. So let's write a new song in another tempo. Yeah. And I mean, we so we did we did work on that much more than we had been doing in the past. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a really diverse, diversified album. Thank you. And yeah. it's a good thing, I see, I suppose. A lot of uh, waves and different flavors. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering if the last song, Prisoners, is a, it's a cover? No? No. No. I don't know why it, remem it reminds me of uh, old rock song or yeah. from the 80s. I don't know. Uh, it's where? a bit folky and it's also a bit almost like a Leonard Skinner old song or something. <coughs> it's, it's in the same vibe, but it, it's an old song. It, it's, it's, it's not a cover. And uh, what is punk attitude today? I think of course the, the, the punk scene is, is like it always have been and uh, you find new bands, you find old bands, old bands are still playing, new bands are starting and uh, but today I think punk is more not really about how fast and aggressive you play, it's more like in the attitude. Um, I know people who are like troubadours that, that are more punk than yeah. actual punk bands <coughs> in, in their lyrics, in their attitude, in their singing. You know, it's it's not about, you know what I mean, one, two, three, four, and then you do it, a uh, two chord song for one and a half minutes. That's not the thing anymore. I think it's more widespread. Yeah, it's I more know. about an attitude thing. Yeah, and I mean, it's not, not, not about a fashion <laughs> or how you dress or look. Uh, I mean, of course. In that way, I wouldn't be here. Uh, <laughs> me neither. Uh, I, mean, I have no tattoos. I have a pink I think, hat. I think like it's that. a state of mind, and that yeah. you uh, that you actually dare to like point your finger at, no matter what it might be. Yeah. If it's the system, or is it how you you don't follow the rules of your genre, or I mean, whatever you do, you 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 do what. You have a, it's it's a mindset. It's it's not a leather jacket or a, a mohawk or. And you were talking about the lyrics. What what are the 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 main topics that you you it was really important for you to to write on this? The Baboon Show. Yeah, on the last album. Uh, we we didn't really write about religion before. 
that much, uh, but now we did. And uh, but otherwise, it's pretty. We always been like had critics against the society and how it works and all the injustice. Yeah, and, and I mean, the church is a part of that. Yes. It's just that we didn't maybe touch the. No, it's theme like this precisely before. But yeah. I would I would say that actually our <laughs> lyrics is kind of always about the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Criticizing something that we don't agree with in society, basically. Yeah. There's a lot of inspiration to take from. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it is. Yeah, there's, there's, there's getting a more lot and more of shit going on in the world. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we don't need heartaches. We just no. need uh, <laughs> troublemakers. <laughs> yeah, just write about life. Yeah. And a lot of uh, shows for for the next uh, weeks, right? For and what about uh, this uh, maybe five dates with uh, the exploited, right? Uh, four. 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 Yeah. Uh, <coughs> the exploited is a legend, you know, yeah. in his style. Do you know the guys? And we met them a few times before, but we're not really we don't really know them well or something we like that. We played together in the past. Yeah. So yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah, we're looking cool. forward. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's cool to see again. And what about the... Yeah, I think you play in Europe, but other continents, right? Uh, I think in South America, no? Uh, no, no, not yet. No. Not yet? Oh, South America. And yeah, we no, play uh, Cuba. Uh, Cuba, yeah. but Cuba, Cuba belongs to North America. It's a no, uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, North, yeah, North, North America. America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we can play with, with Cuba, right? We've been there four times playing. Wow. Yeah. My parents went there and they told me that it was uh, super amazing and uh, it is. It is, uh, yeah, very like a uh, back to the future, you know. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. yeah. it's a different world. <coughs> really nice. Uh, yeah, what do you want to play? Where do you? Yeah, because touring is life, right? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we want to play everywhere. You mentioned South America. Yeah, South America. Yeah, where people want to have us. Yeah, because. This is one thing that we also always think that doesn't matter what government or thing, what kind of leadership you have. If people want us to come play, I mean, people are people everywhere. Yeah. Whatever. Right now we want to play France. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's really yeah, yeah. awesome coming, to be here yeah. again. And, uh, France? France. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that, yeah, we're here now and this yeah. is our focus now. For yeah. me it's yeah. the first time here ever. So it's like, uh, I'm super excited to play for a new audience for me. It's, it's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't tour that much in, in uh, yeah. France, so we were really excited to explore it more. Yeah. yeah. And uh, to finish, any ideas for new songs or, or yeah? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Um, we have started a little bit. Not, not that much, but uh, everyone has a lot of ideas and uh, on Melodies and riffs yeah. and stuff. What do you call it in the in the iPhone? The yeah, it's all in our phones. <laughs> yeah, in the memos. In the memos, yeah. 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 In the memos are full, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're, you're walking down the street and then you got in your head. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you're like, this is before you best, forget it. This is the best riff ever. And then you come home, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. This, this was <laughs> fucking shit. No, this yeah. is. Yes, I yeah. guess we that happened to me so many times. Start trying it a little bit now, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now the last part of this year and see what what comes out of it. Yeah. No, but that's why it's fun. awesome to meet every Monday. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So to so be able to do like this. Change yeah. ideas yeah. and listen to the memos and. But also the new album came out this year in January, so. We're not in a hurry. No. So no. We, we are still gonna tour with this album for a while because. Uh, well, we maybe, love to present the these songs. No, I would say 2025. Oh. And yeah, the yeah. That always happens when we're around. Power. Yeah. Like, <laughs>